let's take a look at how to form and use the present tense in Spanish and we use the present tense to talk about events that take place now or today okay now I'm going to draw a mountain here and I want you to remember this mountain when using the present tense in Spanish so here is our mountain and we're going to draw a person here at the bottom of the mountain okay maybe this is you and you're nervous because you have to climb the mountain but when you get to the top of the mountain you are going to do a victory dance okay because you have completed the mountain and you have learned ultimately the present tense so let's begin so the first stage up this mountain is to start with an infinitive and in Spanish, an infinitive is the basic form of a verb, and it can end in AR, ER, or IR. The second step up this mountain is to drop the AR, the ER, or the IR. And I'm going to draw a pair of scissors, okay? And think of the scissors to actually cut off the AR, ER, or IR, or drop the AR, ER, IR. And the last step up this mountain is to add our present tense endings, okay? And so here's an addition sign, okay? So add the endings. Now let's start off with our first infinitive. So our first infinitive is the verb to speak, which is hablar, okay? So here's a person speaking, kind of, okay? So the second step is going to drop off the H or the AR so we only have H A B L and now the last step is to add our endings okay so we have O as a amos and on okay so now hablo I speak hablas you speak habla he she or you formal speak Hablamos, we speak, or hablan, they speak, or you all plural speak. Okay, now let's look at another verb. And we are going to use the ER infinitive, comer. Okay, so comer means to eat. So how about we draw a picture of Pac-Man over here, right? Pac-Man is always eating, so I think he's yellow. Yeah, he's yellow. Okay, so Pac-Man is eating. So let's do the second step up the mountain. So we drop off our ER and we're left with C-O-M. Now we are going to add our present tense endings. So we have O, S, E, Emos, and N. Okay, so now. Como, I eat. Comes, you eat. Come, he, she, or you formal eat. Comemos, we eat. And comen, they eat, or you all plural eat. Okay? Now let's uh, use one more verb, which is the last verb. And it is the IR infinitive. Vivir. Okay? To live. And so how about we just draw a corazón over here, a heart, and we'll fill it with some red to represent, I don't know, blood because you're alive or maybe you're uh, in love, okay? So, vivir. So, the second thing to do is, just like hablar en comer, we're going to take off, in this case, the IR, and now we're going to climb the mountain again, and so, let's see, I'll write it over here. So, now we have V I V, and now we're going to add our endings. O S E Imos and N. So now we have Bibo, I I live, Bibes, you live, Bibe, he, she, or you formal live, Bivimos, we live, and Biven, they or you all plural live. Okay, now 
there's only one difference between ER and IR verbs, and that is the nosotros form. Okay, for ER verbs, it is EMOS, and for IR verbs, it is IMOS. Okay, um, take a look at this video regarding the present tense, and remember, when you get to the top of the mountain, please remember to do your victory dance, okay? Because you have successfully used the present tense correctly. If you have any questions, let me know. Hasta luego.